Before I even met Teapot, I knew that I was going to call him Teapot because he was so perfectly short and stout. <laughs> His size was exactly like a teapot, so it was the perfect name for him. Now kiss. Hi, this is Tamara and this is Teapot's story for GeoBeats. <laughs> teapot came into my life in a very interesting way. Sorry. I'm from the country, but at the moment I live in supportive apartment housing. I was talking to the staff about having a companion chicken, and they said yes, and so I talked to a breeder who was unhappy with one of the roosters for a show. So I adopted him from the breeder. <laughs> T-Bot had a really, really funny personality. He definitely had the Napoleon complex, that's for sure. He thought that he was the biggest rooster in the world, that he was really rough and tough, but he was actually a total sweetheart and really, really gentle. He never once pecked me, he never was aggressive with me. He was just a very, very sweet boy. Playing peekaboo with Teapot was just sort of a little thing that I used to do when he was sitting on my chest because he'd like to just sit there and sort of look at me. I'd grab his waddles, they're the red flappy things that roosters have on their face, on their chin. He used to just put that behind his eyes and play peekaboo. Peekaboo! I'm not sure how he thought about it, Vidney. He never seemed to dislike it. Peekaboo! The video of Teapot sleeping is really, really special for me because it shows that he was dreaming. I have a feeling that he was dreaming about watching birds in the sky because his head moves around the same way as when he was awake and looking up at birds. I hope it was a nice dream for him. <laughs> Teapot was a bit weird. He used to follow me around the house everywhere. <laughs> I know that sounds really weird, but if I didn't keep the door open, he'd crow. I think he didn't know where I was, so yeah, he just liked to make sure that I was around and I was safe. Teapot used to join us in the beach, so when friends and I were having gatherings at the beach, I just brought Teapot along. He used to just sort of like sitting around and enjoying the sun. He had his feet in the water, but that's as far as he went. Yeah, he liked it, and it was really special just having a little chicken like sitting next to us on the beach. He looked fantastic. Come on. One thing that I really want people to know about chickens is that they're just as special and just as loving and great companions as dogs and cats. They're an incredibly soft bird, they're great with children and they will check on you if you're upset, they'll come to see how you're doing. They'll have a little conversation with you. They're very, very special animals and I think people will learn more about them in the future when they're more accepted as pets. If you've ever wondered what the waddles, the big red flap things that chickens have, they're a way for the air to meet the skin for the chickens to cool down. That's why the waddles are red, is that the blood circulating through to get to the air. But I just like playing with them, they're funny. <laughs> One of the biggest misconceptions people have about chickens is that they're a dirty animal or that they're really messy. Especially with bantams, this isn't the case. Teapot was incredibly clean and very, very easy to take care of. We used to just vacuum every day. If you have backyard chickens and you bring them inside, it will be messy. You need to have a rooster or a chicken that's small and knows what to do inside. I never had a problem with Teapot. I lost Teapot on the 13th of July. I miss him. I really, really miss him. Well, it feels like I lost my best friend. I did, I lost my best friend. Teapot was there for me every morning, every night. He was always, he was the constant in my life and without him it's, I feel incredibly empty. But I'm trying to stay positive and I want everyone to know how special Teapot was. And I continue to share his little life with everyone just because I want people to know that roosters deserve love. They very, very much deserve love. Crow. <laughs> Good boy.